Northern plains up to eight inches have fallen in parts of South Dakota. There are winter storm warnings from Minnesota to Iowa, and forecasters say the storm is heading eastward toward the Mississippi Valley today. A lot of art is collaborative. A play involves a playwright, a director, actors, movies involve even more people. Still, when we think of graphic art, we think of the artist alone with brush or pencil, one-on-one -on -one with the muse. Not so when the art involves printmaking. You find artists and craftsmen thrashing it out together, as Haywood Hale Brune explains in The Collaborators. You just jiggle it around some. No, I, I, I realize it has to overlap, so I'll hold it there for a minute, a little bit to your right. My right? Yeah, more to the right. Okay. More. More? Uh, that's about it, you know. And pin it for a minute. The final shape of this lithograph must now leap from the mind of artist Robert oh, Motherwell the to down. the imprisoning paper. But the leap will not be made without advice. Well, we have that on. Would you like a second copy? In sure. There? Why not? And the, that red is very good. All right. There are artists who know exactly what they want to do, and they simply show the printer that this is what they want to do and go about doing it, period. But my whole aesthetic is based partly on discovery in the process of making. You can work with that one with the water, or we can put some white paper over the water if you want. I can understand it very well now, and very often uh, uh, suggests, or actually physically does, uh, possibilities that might not have occurred to me. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. What about the margins? Printer Ken Tyler knows the old limitations and the new possibilities of the printmaker's art. And as the possibilities grow, so does the craftsman's role. Prints need more now than a dream and a pencil. Just as I see it here. But I won't be able to give you that double. Every creative area has clashes. Uh, the dance has clash. Theater has clash. Uh, it's necessary. Uh, it works like a stimulant. Uh, you almost put yourself into that position at times so that you can have those tender nerve endings exposed and creating can be a lot of fun that way, or it can be disastrous. Printmaking has multiple possibilities and, of course, multiple products. The process is creative, but the gallery is a combination department store and brokerage office. The number of shares or numbered prints in an edition is a factor in art investment decisions. The Motherwell-Tyler lithographic collaboration, which ran through this press, will come to market at about $200,000. A printmaker can perhaps be judged by those who beat a path to his door. Ken Tyler has met the exacting wishes of many major artists. This is a Frank Stella. These are the works of David Hockney. This is a Roy Lichtenstein, and the rest of the works on the panel are by Alan Shields. What I do when I put so many different colors on is I reduce the number of times through the press a little bit, but add the colors uh, all in one strike. It, it makes for kind of a spectacular single run, I'll tell you sometimes. work is divided in such a way uh, that the artist is really spending more time uh, in the craft and more time with the craftsman and inventing as he's going with the medium. This plastic is really not originally meant to be a printing plate. It was designed for structural reasons to carry bread around or to carry some product in a, in a truck or something. Uh, if we make traditional plates, we make them out of metal and things that do endure and have a history of enduring. We're, ca we're careful with this to try to not uh, destroy the, the plate in the process because a lot of them aren't really retrievable. I couldn't go out and get the exact same one over again in some cases. Okay.
too much heavier because the, pa the paper has a tendency to push right down through the grid because there isn't anything to support in the middle. So it's got to be pretty light pressure. Alan Shields, following the new adventurous trend in printmaking, uses a plastic packaging sheet to give a distinctive grain to his design. Ooh. Uh, press it. Yeah, I think so. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah take it on up. Take it up. It's plenty of pressure. Ooh, that's it's beautiful, good. huh? Yeah. You go ahead. Some of them are even sticking down right to the thing. Let's check this in. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful. It's a great one. I love it. Ken Tyler's workshop is an odd mixture of large studio and small factory. Workmen use a variety of materials, wood, metal, plastic, stone, to fit a variety of visions. This is your first blanket. So it has really is like a blanket, isn't it? It's got that sort of downy kind of feel. They try to harness improvisation and precision. And Tyler tries to see that this collaboration suits the needs of the artist. It's going to be pretty hairy, this, anyway, you see. No, it's going to be beautiful. Just do it. See, the mold, the mold leaves an, an interesting groove behind it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like a channel. Yeah. Hugh O'Donnell, splashily adventurous, spoons layers of colored pulp onto a wet sheet of white pulp. Making the design as part of the papermaking process is a new avenue for O'Donnell. Oh, that's nice. Okay, where's the pulp? Uh, okay. Strain. Yeah, well, so both, you know, not, 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 um, not too strained. Sort of like that. Here you go, doctor. You ready? The, the whole process would, would, would be, wouldn't work if it was, if, you, if, one was, if one tried to be too exact. There's just plenty of other, other um, mediums which would be more suitable. That's I did a series of drawings um, before coming in, a, in an attempt to try and rehearse just to get more familiar with um, the looseness of this kind of medium but there's really nothing one can do it doesn't approximate anything that I've ever used before I don't need an awful lot of a, of a, of a tip here because I'm gonna the artist began this work with a drawing which was then duplicated by Tyler's craftsman in a metal frame. Hey, watch your watch, Ken. You're gonna no, it's all right. It doesn't matter. It's waterproof. <laughs> the mold is really just to kind of give it a... Um, the material is so organic and so moving that you, you have to have uh, some kind of structural um, armature around which the colors can move. Otherwise, you just get <coughs> the dog's dinner, you know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just want to repair some of these lines, and I think we can give it a press. All right. have their own aesthetic likes and preferences so that the printer's problem is to suppress his own in uh, the interest of drawing out of any given artist what is particularly that artist's uh, natural felt tone. We want to, we can always cut the left, but... Uh, I'll keep the whole placement I, the same. Yeah, I, I don't want to gain any on the right. All right. Or lose.
lose any. The only way we know in the end, and, and that's why we have to try again and again, this way, that way, move it up, move it down. Maybe there's too much in it, take some out, put some more in, and so on. At a certain moment, you recognize your own tone of voice, and then it's when it's finished. It's good there. Mm. Have you got a china mark here? Sure, which color? Any color. Yeah. Red. For Hugh O'Donnell, this was a three-week project. It resulted in 19 pieces which fulfilled his hopes and 11 which were torn up. Rip it. Yeah. Collage material. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ah. This was a draconic choice, since these works sell for up to $6,500 each. You get good ones and you get bad ones. After three weeks, it's still... There, 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 I'm, I'm still learning how to, um, to make it really work, but I can't, I can't guarantee pieces before I start them. But the things, the most exciting thing is the things I could never have done in any other way. I think he accomplished a, a certain moment in papermaking for us, uh, which is now different. He added that element of speed, um, and I think the work looks like it was quickly done. And very sure uh, hands can produce something like that. Have you ever had an impulse to start from scratch yourself and then sign the print, Ken Tyler, or something that's... Uh... <laughs> no, no. In the beginning, when I started uh, my career as a printmaker, I decided that I didn't want to be caught in the conflict between making art uh, for myself and then trying to make art for others. I think you can only serve one master at one time. How's that for level, you know? Give me a sign. Happy and successful life. She can help you no matter what your problem is. Love, marriage, family, affairs, business transactions, separations, or divorce. Let Sister Grace put your mind at ease. Why worry or have sleepless nights when help is just a telephone call away? Let Sister Grace help you turn your life around. One visit will convince you of her ability. Sister Grace has been in the Richmond area over 25 years. All readings are private and confidential. Please call for appointment 275-0444.